Okay, welcome back. So if you remember the end of my last video, I had just put some fiberglass on top of my two amas here. It's been a good solid month or so, so they should be pretty cure. Now is my chance to clean it up. Now, don't be deceived, I'm not actually that fast at sanding. In fact, these two amas took me over an hour to get all cleaned up, um, hence the beautiful, beautiful coat of dust, beauty dust. I'm going with fairy dust. Beautiful coat of fairy dust that I'm uh, covered with here. But alas, even all good things have to come to an end and the end of my sanding here is uh, fast approaching and I get to move on to another project, or at least another part of the boat. So now that the main hole is done and both the amas are done, I need to connect them together. This is something that I've been putting off for a long time because it, for some reason, really scared me that I'd mess it up and the whole thing wouldn't work. But it had to be done. So this is the beginning of the akas or the cross beams. So probably the most difficult part of building the whole crossbeam section was ripping these boards in half. Um, this was added to because I don't have a good controlled shop and I don't have a big solid table saw. Um, I have a portable table saw that I screwed down to a portable table and just hope that it worked. And it did, mostly. Now once I got all my boards ripped down, as you can see here I got a bunch of different blocks. They're actually not all identical in size. Uh, several of them are a little smaller, they actually taper down. These are going to create the spaces between the uh, two different boards on the outside. Um, what I forgot to set up my camera for you to watch was the process of drilling holes in the very end ones. Those are going to hold the dowels that will ultimately hold up the amas. Um, you'll see that come into play here shortly. Now this is the moment that I have been collecting for for years. I've been scrounging every little clamp I've been able to find at every garage sale and then my battery died. So here it is towards the uh, end. You could see the layup on my two uh, cross beams there. And now what I'm doing is removing all of the uh, clamps from previously and I'm going to just sheet over this side. Uh, this isn't going to be structural, it's just going to box them out, make them look better. And this is how I'm going to uh, finish off these cross beams before putting it all together and getting it painted.
Now those big ugly boards that I'm putting down there are serving a very good purpose. That's where the uh, seam is for the two pieces of sheeting. I don't have 16 foot long pieces of wood I'm putting over it. So they're applying nice even pressure so it's nice and flat over that. Uh, besides that, the stuff levels off pretty good with just a bunch of clamps. And here we are two days later. It's nice and warm out so things are curing nice and quickly and I'm able to just get it nice and cleaned up so I can flip it over and sheet the other side. Now once both sides are sheeted up all nicely, I'm just going to round off these corners and sand them down and getting it looking really good. And there we have it, two completed Akas ready to help get this boat assembled. So let's see what damage we can do with them. So the last step I need to do to make this boat into, well, one, is to drill the holes into the struts there on the Amas. This is especially difficult because they have to be at an angle so they are more or less level when the boat's healing over. Um, I'm picking a point just a couple point, couple inches above the base and we will see how well I can drill into these. And as you can see I don't have the newest drill press in the world and uh, one issue with it is that the table can't rotate the way it probably did 50 years ago when it was new. So I put a block up there, I wedged it up to the angle I think it should be at. Uh, the important thing here is that the angle is the exact same for all four of the struts. So it's staying the same and I'm just moving the boat around it. Okay, here we go. Let's see uh, how much effort it takes to put a trimaran together. There's my Akas going up exactly how they should be. Of course, there's nothing strapping these together, and that becomes very evident right about now. Get that on a little bit, and oh wait, there's a huge weight on one side. Maybe clamp it down to the main hole, maybe that's enough weight. No, no. Turns out it's a little bit easier when I don't have to fight gravity quite as much. But look how much of a boat this looks like. Now, I want to thank you all for following along as I build this uh, kind of pain in the butt, but amazing project, at least for me. Um, I know it's been coming along and I've been seeing big things come in stages, but it wasn't until this point that it really looks like the boat that I know it's meant to be. 
I still have quite a bit to go, so don't quit following me yet. And if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, I have a very big task of trying to make a sale for this, so if you have any tips on sewing sales, please let me know. Of course, like, subscribe, follow, and any of that great stuff, and y'all have a great day.